Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy, and I'm so happy to see you here today. If you are new to my channel, I am a Twitch streamer. I'm a cat's mom. I'm a world traveler. I'm a former volleyball player. I'm a current crossfitter. I'm a weeb. I'm a geek. I'm a nerd. And I love learning new things. And the entire purpose of my channel is for me to broaden my horizons in the realm of music and listen to songs, bands, and artists I've never heard before. And so... I heard that Falling in Reverse just released a new video and song called Prequel, and that is exactly what we are going to react to today. I feel like every time Falling in Reverse drops a new music video, I stop what I'm doing and I'm so ready to record because seriously, their videos are actually out of this world amazing. I've never seen music videos with such quality at this capacity. It's actually amazing and so fun to watch, so I'm really excited to see what we have in store today. Just a little disclaimer before we begin i do not have a musical background so if i say something that is musically incorrect please feel free to correct me in the comments but also please be nice i am learning and you guys have been the best senseis i could have ever asked for on this journey and remember guys if you like my content please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it really helps growing content creators like me so without further ado let's get into the reaction okay falling in reverse prequel let's get started whoa Looks like Dune. Dear diary, dear diary, I've been searching for a higher me. I'm in the sky in the pilot seat, trying to stop my mind from spiraling, and that's irony. That's irony. I'm just looking for a resolution. I just want to be oh, a I'm pumped. Human, but it's hard when everybody's acting stupid. Oh, me if that <laughs> came off rude. I just have a bad attitude with the world and not just with you. It's the side effects of abuse. I admit I'm a little strange. I don't think that I'll ever change. I survived the whole life of pain you could say i escaped my fate i'm mm. cynical egotistical unpredictable hard criminal and i could be a little hypocritical but i'll admit it straight to your face i'm unbreakable irreplaceable undeniably inspirational i use everything i have available to make me the person i am today i love this so dramatic I just had another wild dream I was in a world that admired me And when I woke up I was smiling And that's irony, that's irony You talk a lot but you don't even know me mm. I'm just hoping that my testimony Will inspire y'all to stop that It's funny Pardon me if that came off weird I don't mean to be mean I swear I have been <laughs> through a lot this year I just want to make a few things clear I don't like it when people hate Behind my back and not to my face Nowadays it just feels so fake So I'll cut the grass to it You kiss the hand that takes half in taxes Faking outrage and being seen A generation with no self-esteem It's time to rise up and stand against them Break oh my the God. chains and finally see the vision We're okay. post-traumatic from a broken system I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause right here Because I feel like this is going to be Amped up to a whole nother level In about a few seconds Right off the bat, I'm loving How he is getting so much off of his chest i feel like he's just releasing so much tension so much anger through his music recently and this is no exception i mean this is poetry what he's talking about seriously i mean you could feel his emotion you can feel his anger you could feel his rage you could just feel that he's kept this bottled up in some way for some time at least that's my impression i don't know too much about ronnie and his uh past and history that much but i could just tell that he's been bottling so much up and he's getting things off of his chest that uh and i mean he's saying things and displaying emotions that we've all felt before we're we've all felt like we've been misunderstood and sorry i didn't mean to be rude like i really wanted to say this to you though i i kind of love how he is vocalizing his emotions and displaying it and the way he is singing these lyrics or even just rapping or just saying these lyrics it's really just oh it's powerful and i feel it i feel his frustration anger everything and these lyrics are powerful seriously i'm i'm interested to see where this goes i don't know if we're going to have another homelander moment in a second uh but this 
Also, this music video appears to be like Dune themed, which is really cool. I, I kind of like to see that he's taking inspiration from like TV shows and movies that we have seen recently or that are really popular. It's, it's kind of cool that he's making it into his own thing. You can tell he has watched some shows and watched some movies for sure. So let's keep going. And you praise the fascist You kiss the hand that takes half in taxes Faking outrage and being seen A generation with no self-esteem It's time to rise up and stand against them Break the chains and finally see the vision We're post-traumatic from a broken system Follow me into the chaos engine ah! It's time to stand, it's time to fight Don't be afraid to twist the knife Your sacrifice to break the curse Prepare to die, prepare to burn Abandon hope, it's not enough Cause all our gods abandon us Your uh. sacrifice to break Watch it burn. That's a suit, isn't it? So there's a reason why this is called prequel. This is how it all started. It really feels that way too. You get kind of the story that made him become so angry and feel alone and feel like no one could understand him and that everybody's following a certain way of living and he doesn't fall into that mold and everyone kind of sees him differently and he's just expressing it this this music video is seriously a movie and it's art and i've said this before in his previous videos that he's put out falling in reverse ronnie they they keep putting out banger after banger and these music videos are a different level of quality that i've never seen before seriously it, it actually feels like a cinematic masterpiece it's out of this world and not only is it so visually pleasing to watch and the quality is amazing, but there are so many uh, subliminal messages and undertones, religious undertones. That shot of him being in the middle and you have angels pulling him up and you have demons or fallen angels uh, pulling him down. That was one of the most beautiful shots I've ever seen in a music video. It says so much right there, the conflict being torn, being pulled in one direction and another, and then at the end, just falling apart, just getting rid of everything and following your own path and kind of losing it. Man, I am just so impressed with the quality of this. I, I, I feel like this is something that could be studied in film classes, in music classes, in anything. I'm seriously impressed. I feel like I could go frame for frame and find something. Like, Ronnie means business, man. He's really putting out quality and he's putting out he's putting out stuff that really means something. Like, it, even though maybe some people may not resonate with it or whatever, I think... It shows so much about him, what he's gone through, what he might currently be going through. And I have respect for artists who put their emotions out there or even just give us tidbits of their life in an artistic way. Again, I don't know too much about Ronnie and his history. You guys have told me some things here and there, but he, this band Falling in Reverse is still relatively new to me, but I enjoy their music so much and 
the emotion they have in their songs, the quality of their music videos, and the messages that they give, not only through the lyrics, but through the visuals of the music videos are seriously just so out of this world and really awesome. I have to hand it to them. Seriously, another amazing video, another amazing song by them. You know, as I've been on my musical journey and reaction video journey on YouTube, so many bands have become an experience for me. Like they are not just music, they become an experience, such as especially Pink Floyd. Like Pink Floyd is a band that is co a complete experience for me. And I think Falling in Reverse is falling into that category very quickly with their with the quality of their music videos. You are really given an experience when you are watching their music videos and you are sitting here taking it all in. The lyrics of the song are so raw and vulnerable and angry and frustrating. I can feel all of those emotions through the lyrics and how he's singing them. I love that. And the music itself transcends genres. You have some rap, you have metal, you have rock, you have some symphonic metal too, I feel like. It's it's all over the place, but in such a beautiful, in such a beautiful way. I think Ronnie is a very, very talented individual. I mean, we saw him do country, a whole country song a couple months ago. And you could just tell like he can do any genre he possibly wants. He does what he wants and he's in the era of not really caring what other people think. This song to me shows me he's tired of bottling things up. Like he is ready to tell people how he feels, what he has been experiencing or what he currently might be experiencing. And he's tired of bottling it up. He's 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 just ready to let it all out. And all of these videos that I have seen, you could feel the pain in some of these lyrics. You can feel how frustrated and angry and how much in pain he has been, but then he lets it all go by actually like burning people down, taking buildings down and kind of acting out. And there's just so much symbolism in his videos. There's so much to look at and take in and interpret. And I find that amazing like that's what art is about art is about interpretation and it is about how it makes you feel what you can take from a piece of art and i think there is a lot being said in his lyrics and his music videos more than we can even realize and I, I, I love how personal he is getting with his music going into some of the symbolism in the song i mean there's so much i feel like it could be a whole 45 minute video on that so you see him in the streets kind of preaching to people telling people how unfair society is and he wasn't afraid to speak out but at the end of the day those people that he was preaching to crucified him you see him be crucified and people watching that and celebrating that and he loses it he he gets his you know, laser beams out and he destroys everything. And then you see him die and you see his apparition go up into the heavens, if you want to call it. But then you see him being pulled by the bad and by the good. You see the good angels, the heaven, uh, the white light, all of that. And then you see the fallen angels, the demons, the dark also trying to pull him. And I think it was really interesting that he kind of rejected both. I believe he rejected both because he wanted to pave his own path. And I think he realized that there really isn't such a thing as good and evil in this world. Like sometimes those things can be the same thing. It's just perception. And I think his perspective is the world is too far gone to choose either or. I think this video shows resentment. And again, earlier, like I said, frustration and anger. But I think it also shows that Ronnie did try to mold into society and they rejected him. He got crucified for it. He didn't like how things were going. And when you speak out, sometimes you get punished and sometimes you don't fit into any part of society, good or bad. And because he stuck to his beliefs, I think he paved his own way. And you see him kind of fall into something that is what we saw in Ronald, complete, utter destruction, just just angry and violent and 
all of those sort of things. You see him spiral into that. And I'm interested to see this story continue or to learn more about this story. Everything is pieced together like a puzzle. And I think it would be really fun to watch all of these music videos in order. All I know is this band has me on the edge of my seat and they have me just, seriously, my jaw is to the floor whenever I watch their videos. I try to take it all in at once, but my goodness, there's so much happening. There's so much symbolism. There's so much emotion that it, it absolutely requires more listen throughs and it absolutely requires you to absorb it more than one time. I feel like there's gonna be something new every time I watch this music video. And that just goes to show you the quality and the care that Falling in Reverse has in their videos because they want to get their message out there. They want to stop bottling things up. They want to just put out what they want. And I see it, I feel it. I love that they are like, hey, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we want. And this is what the music video is going to be. Like, I feel like everything is so perfectly catered and placed and planned. And that just shows you how amazing of a band they are. And again, I just wanna say, this is just my interpretation of the song. If you guys have any information about anything I might have missed or maybe some background information about Ronnie or falling in reverse about what this may mean, please let me know down in the comments. I'm just going off of, you know, religious undertones and what I've seen in his previous videos. And the song is called Prequel. I think at the end of the day, this is the beginning and how it all started. It, this was a treat as usual. It's an experience. Falling in Reverse is turning into an experiential band where you just sit back, take it all in, and damn, you're in for a ride, man. I feel like every time I'm watching one of their videos recently, my I, I'm just... Uh, I'm just taking to a different place and I'm enjoying it so much, but I don't know. I, I need them to keep it up, man. <laughs> I love it. There, there's nothing like this out there right now. This, the quality of everything is out of this world. And I feel like that's what we need more nowadays. We need quality over quantity and they're giving it to us. And I love it. And I also just want to say to end the video, um, I can tell Ronnie is the biggest nerd in the world. <laughs> I could tell that he loves like Star Wars, Dune. I mean, the boys, there's a lot of boys undertones as well. And even like Red Dead Redemption, I feel like the whole country song he had a couple months ago with Jelly Roll was like totally Red Dead. Like I loved it. I seriously love it. Like good, good cowboy, bad cowboy. Oh my God. I can smell a nerd a mile away. <laughs> so I think that'll do for today's reaction. Thank you all again so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it really helps growing content creators like me. If you guys are interested in some of my other content or wish to support me in alternative ways, please be sure to check out the links in the description box. If you guys are interested in seeing me live on Twitch, I am live right now at twitch.tv slash RPG, where you can see moments like this. If I squat, Mizu is going to tat. See, <laughs> I didn't even have to go all the way down. I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> the link to my Twitch is also in the description box. And last but not least, I want to give a huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you, patrons, so much for your contributions to my channel. You guys are the best and I appreciate you all so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all you do for me. And I appreciate you all so much. And if you wish to become a Patreon member yourself, please be sure to check out the Patreon link in the description box. And if you have any say on what I should react to next, please be sure to sound off in the comments or join the discord the discord link is in the description box i'm in the discord every single day chatting with you guys and it's always such a treat for me so join the discord if you are so inclined thank you all again for being here and i'll see you in the next video take care